Hello everybody, here I am again. Um, <clears throat> a lot to talk about. Um, my Heavenly Father let me know that absolutely nobody hears what I say when I say things in parable form. I'm like, oh, they should have been all ready for that. So you mean to tell me, like, I've been talking for like a year and a half and no one heard it? That's why nobody heard it? <sighs> wow. Yeah, I can't be throwing pearls to swine, folks. I can't be throwing pearls to swine. And yet, sometimes I'm throwing a little, little, yeah, I'm throwing some crumbs, some slop, and I'm feeding the swine. Sweeting, I'm feeding the sheep, I'm feeding the swine. I'm trying to feed everyone actually here, but you know, when I, I guess when I talk in metaphors and parables and figures of speeches, like my boots, for instance, shaking the dust off my boots. I wasn't actually talking about my literal boots. Some people need to focus on things actually. Well, who cares about my boots? I'm not talking about real boots. I'm talking about, like, this is a metaphor. Boots. Shaking the dust off my boots. The, the muck, the, the mud, like... It's a metaphor for, um, I'm walking away from something that isn't any good for me. I'm, like, leaving the, it behind and I'm not looking back. Okay? That's YouTube. Yeah, that's you all, y'all, YouTube, y'all, you all, the tube of you all. Yeah, I'm walking away from that on my birthday. I don't have to fill those shoes anymore. Do you see what I mean? Like, no more videos, no more, you guys could all celebrate. Yay, no more Jacob Israel Reed videos ever again on my birthday. Until my birthday, I guess I have to keep making videos. Probably won't even actually make one a day or two before my birthday. But I might. Uh, yeah, so those boots, those are, um, that's just a metaphor. Uh, meaning I'm, I'm shaking the dust off. I'm walking away from something that's actually no good for me. And I'm walking away and I'm not looking back. So that's called YouTube. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about there, okay? Then the pants. Well, that's the diamond dog crap. Look, it's like that diamond in my pocket with all that do steamy hot dog crap. Well, it's all, it's like a, that dog crap is turned into like a brick of concrete. So it's basically like a diamond wrapped in concrete glued to the inside of these pants. Like the pocket here. And I'm telling you, every every step I take, it just rubs me raw. It's rubbing me raw. Do you understand? That diamond, wrapped in concrete, fused inside this pocket here, it's rubbing me raw. Like, I can't barely wait for my birthday to get those new pair of pants. And it's going to take like a, I'm going to have to take the pan, these pants off. Smack it with a hammer. I'm gonna smack that diamond with a hammer so hard most of that crap falls off the diamond So I can put the a, a cleaner version of that diamond into my new pants On my birthday You see what I mean now I did let you know that it wasn't for sure if those pants would be canvas or if those pants would be <clears throat> linen why? Because my heavenly father took a coin. Heads this, tails that. Now he did this to me like a decade ago. <sighs> he put that coin up into the air and it's just been perpetually spinning, perpetually spinning in air for like, for me, it seems like forever. Now on one side of the coin, he gave me three things that would happen if it was heads and three things that would happen if it was tails, right? If it was heads, 
I would get this kind of pants, and if it was tails, I would get that kind of pants. Sorry, let's change this angle. Sorry, so anyway, like that. Look, see, I'm in a barn. That's crap. Right there, it is. So anyway, if it's heads, it's that pair of pants. If it's tails, it's that pair of pants. Okay. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not even telling you. There's two outcomes besides the pair of pants on each side of the coin. So there's three variables here. Three things will happen if it's heads up. Three things will happen if it's tails up. And I've been sitting there like every once in a while, I just like look up at that coin just perpetually spinning. Like, when is that thing ever going to come down? Well, then, you know, and I kind of came straight to you folks. That coin will land on my birthday. Uh-huh. It will land on my birthday. Yep. And it will not land until my birthday. So finally, at least I have a timeline to, in which I don't have to watch this coin anymore. Like, I'm just kind of like, oh, gosh. Is it going to be heads? Is it going to be tails? Now, at least I know, finally, that thing is coming down. That coin is coming down on my birthday. Either it'll be heads or it'll be tails. Okay. Well, actually, for the last 24 hours, I've seen it land. Yeah, I've seen it land. Like, like, a, like a foresight, like a... I know if it lands heads up, and I know if it lands, you know, tails. Tails are, you know, I, I, I actually know, but I'm not going to talk about it. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the, the pants and the boots, it's all just a metaphor. It's not real pants. It's not real boots. I'm not talking about real pants. I'm not talking about real boots. You know, in fact, like so many. Wow. It's like I didn't realize, well, you know, Jesus can talk in parables, but I'm not allowed to, or something like, you know. I thought we were supposed to follow Christ. So if I if I talk in metaphors, parables, you know, figures of speech, and no one's got is discerning. I mean, what am I supposed to do about that? Like nothing. And so I don't, after my birthday, I won't have to anymore. I don't have to make any more YouTube videos after my birthday. And I, I'm pretty sure I'll be so happy about that. I, I, I you know, I won't be making one out of, I, I just, you know, thank you father for, for, for releasing me from this. So, on my birthday, no more YouTube videos. That's what I'm saying, actually. Um, on the boot front. On the pant front, well, that's pretty well decided, isn't it? The diamond is going to get smacked with a hammer just to break it free, you know, and to, to, get, to get some of that crap off of the diamond. You see? And so, you know, I'm not here to save the saints, right? Like, falling after Christ, right? I'm here to save the tax collector, right? I'm here to save the, uh, the sinners, you know? So I'm like telling the FBI, the CIA, the last two presidents, the United Nations, FEMA, you know, the World Health Organization, the Pentagon, the Secret Service, the Vatican, Turkey, Greece, Russia, China, you know, the, all the United Nations, right? Trying to save these, I'm trying to save these people. See, I'm not trying. To, I'm not here to save the saints. I'm here to save the sinners. I'm here to love my enemies. You know what I mean? So when I, you know, I kick them in the teeth, it's just kind of like a disciplinary maneuver. It's not that I don't love them. And, and haven't I been proven for a year and a half? I'm walking through this lion's den for a year and a half. I'm getting so hungry, I'm about ready to eat a lion. You understand? 
I mean, has anybody comprehended what I've done here? Does anybody even get it? Now, if I text one of my hey boys here, I'm like, hey, hey, hey guy, hey guy, I'm coming to get a load of hay. No problem, right? Well, I gave him the heads up, I texted, I let, let everybody know I'm just going to get hay. And I'll be right back to the farm and get some more hay. But if I just jump in the old truck, like I did yesterday, I didn't text anybody. Yeah. Police escorts wherever I go, right? It's been that way for years, folks. Helicopters, planes, police escorts. Like, I'm safe, folks. I, I'm, I'm good. See what I mean? Like, you guys know, unmarked cars, marked squad cars. There's, I'm seeing stars all the time. Why? Okay, they're driving by the house constantly. They're flying over. You see what I mean? And what can they do? Nothing. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, does it, does, do, do lots of people really have to die? I mean, I, t I gave you all the timeline a year and a half ago. No one's gonna hear anything I say till half the planet's dead. Like, I could predict that, like me. Like, I'd have that ability. If my Heavenly Father wouldn't have said, hey, just tell them that. And I did, a long time ago, I gave you a measurement. And it wasn't some date. I didn't give you some, I didn't give anybody a date. I gave you a time, um, something a, you could put a read next to and measure, actually. You know what I mean? Like a timeline. See what I mean? Oh, when half the people on Earth are dead, then people will start listening to me. Yeah, I just made it up and it just seems to be coming true. Huh? You know what I mean? Well, I already told you it'd be always be something that I did, didn't I? Like the Doubting Thomas generation just needs to see it. So next year on my birthday, anybody who's still alive can celebrate it with me. Next year, when I turn 46. But this year, when I turn 45, I'll probably be celebrating it with just me and like an enemy and my heavenly father and, and my savior and, 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 an, and one of my enemies will be, he'll be, he'll make me dinner, we'll break bread together, I'll offer him eternal life and I'll be whisked away from all this stuff like S H where is it how's it go? T F Yeah, when it hits the fan, that you know, I'll be I'm good. I'm gonna celebrate my 45th birthday with a new pair of pants and a new pair of boots. Nobody else is gonna be celebrating my birthday really. Like pretty much the whole entire world will not celebrate my birthday. And everybody will hate me on my birthday. But next year, if you're still alive on the 46th birthday, we can celebrate that together, okay? No one's gonna probably wanna celebrate my birthday with me this year. <sighs> well, I'm trying to think. Have I overwhelmed anybody? Should I just stop this video right about here? Probably. Hmm, I got a lamb that needs my help. Do you hear that? Oh, Jelly! Jelly! My Jelly needs my help. Jealousy, Jelly. Angel, she's, she's a sweetie. It's the only one. She's my only you. Oh, hey, have you guys ever noticed if you guys look at the real translate? Jelly, hold on, Jelly. I know, sweetie, hold on, Jelly. You hear this, I'm being summoned by my, I only have just the one lamb. She's a you, and uh, that's a long story, but yeah, I pulled her out dead. Breathed the life back into her, took her home with me. She's my girl, she's just kind of like, you know, 
She's my only lamb. Everything else here is goats or chickens or turkeys or, you know, like whatever. But as far as livestock goes, real livestock, hooved animals. Like, yeah, I guess I'm big called the goat man. So anyway, but I do have one lamb and she's pretty awesome. So, has anybody noticed real quick before I uh, get off here um, that uh, if you really look at now, these, some of these modern day translations, once we go here again, a, a modern day translation proving what I'm saying, what I've always been saying, but anyway, the full armor of God. Now, if you really look at like the old script, the old, you know, it, the part when he, it, the scriptures talk about the full armor of God and it, and it talks about, you know, the breastplate of righteousness and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. When it gets to the feet, now they've changed it, so it sounds like feet, okay? But it, the original, you know, Hebrew and the original translation, it's shod. Yeah, like what you do for a horse, shod. The feet are shod. That's not a term you use for people. It's not, a, you don't use that for any livestock except for horses, yeah. The feet are shod. That is the white horse. Yeah, it is, it is, folks. Not anybody's enemy here. I'm here to love everybody, even my enemies. Oh. You know what? I, I think I got a little bit more time. Let me go ahead and say this. We have a brother out there. We all do. That's leading everyone, a, a ton of people, astray. I don't really know his name. I, I don't know a whole lot about him. Uh, he's a young guy. Watchman on the Wall 88. Watchman on the Wall 88. Um, he's spot on with so much message, okay? With so much message, he's spot on. Um the gospel Christ he is spot he's really spot on okay you know and you know, he's got like 75,000 subscribers the problem is so maybe somebody hearing me right now might reach out to him he's teaching the rapture now now I hate to be skin tone racial here but Seems to me like the this 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 generation, this final generation, like the bride, the or you know, the body of Christ, if you want to call it that, I like that, is very, very dark complexion. Okay? There's some there's some Caucasian like white scars on this body. Um there's some a little bit of red scarring on this body, and, and there's some there is some yellow freckles. Okay, hate to sound racial like that, but the but the primary body of the bride or of the body of Christ or however you want to title that of of the white horse is Negro, black. Dark complected brown, African, African American, African whatever you you know like, okay you see what I mean? Like most of the tree of Abraham, those who will survive this dark dark skin. Now, what I mean by that is, there's a different Jesus it seems for white people. And for black people, I, I, we're all reading from the same book, it seems. But the, the Jesus that the white man has, and the Jesus that the black man has, I'm sorry to just kind of say it like that. They're two different Jesuses. It's not the same Jesus. It's just, it just isn't. Now, for some reason, and I don't know how this is, I just don't understand. Never have bonded with. Don't, I can't even comprehend this white man Jesus, okay? I don't, I don't understand it. I understand the black man's Jesus. I don't understand the white man's Jesus. I just don't. 
Because there's two of them. There's two Jesuses in the white man's world, right? And there's only this one in the black man. There's like three different Jesuses total. White man has two different versions that are both kind of weird. And then the black man, well, he's got that the one, which is way more accurate than the white man's other two. Okay. Well, Watchman on the Wall, 88, this young guy, he's got that, that churchy, churchy, rapturous out of there. Deny, like there's some kind of fifth seal. Deny, like so many, you have to deny so many scriptures to go there, okay? I hope I'm wrong about that, that'd be great. I'd, I'd love it if I was wrong and we could all just be raptured out of here. But that's just not the case, okay? It's just not it. It's not. It's not how it is. You know what I mean. And so those those Christians were entering the time where those Christians there that that believe in in the rapture, they're invited to the wedding. Okay, that's the best I can say. They're not gonna. They're not gonna. They're not. They're not really crafted to the tree of Abraham. They're not gonna survive the coming fire. They've already made up their mind. They're getting raptured out of here, and when that doesn't happen, well, they're going to fall away. They're going to lose faith. They just will. When the, when the crap hits the fan, these innocent, gullible, eyes pulled shut sheep, they'll, they're going to die. I'm not saying they're going to perish. They believe in Christ. Maybe, maybe a few of them have enough faith to kind of get through all that and, and, and come to terms with there wasn't a rapture or something, or, and they'll really start digging into their scriptures if they still even have a Bible to, to dig through, you know? And so, you know, maybe it, it, if you have to, you know, it's just, if, you know, it's, it's frustrating. Yeah, it, it's just another brother... With a, with a large flock. I'm not trying to betray my brothers. I'm not trying to, to change the message of Christ in any way, shape, or form. The message of Christ. No, I'm not. But this, 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 uh, this idea of... Like, you're not looking at the, the matters at hand. The reality of the facts. You're, you're just... You're turning a blind eye to, to too much information, and yet you're... You're teaching doctrine that, it, you know, you got 75,000 subscribers and everybody that trickles out from them and all their family and all their acquaintances and their friends and stuff. So, I mean, how many people are, are because of Watchmen on the Wall, are, are going to, you know, just believe, oh, well, I'll be raptured out of here and there, there is no tribulation. I mean, if I'm wrong, who cares, right? Who cares? That'd be awesome if I'm wrong. But if I'm right, how wrong? See what I mean? How wrong is the other guy? It doesn't affect me to be wrong about that. It doesn't change anything to be prepared to, like, my Heavenly Father is letting me know. I'm sure of what I'm telling you all, you know. I'm trying to tell you. No one's hearing it. So, you know... I don't know, you know, on my birthday you guys will get it, you know, you guys will start getting it then, but it, it, it's kind of going to be too old, too late for that, you know, so, there's only going to be like 144,000 people left on earth, right, when it's all said and done, just the, just the fragment, the remnant, right, that's it, that's all that's left when it's all said and done, and then we're going to make this place squeaky clean, when our heaven, the kingdom come is here, folks. When heaven, when Christ brings heaven with him, when he returns, we, this place is going to be squeaky clean. Do you understand? Like, you know? Anyway, I love you guys. I love you.